Okay, so um, I've been messing around with stuff for years, and I found this tube that was used in a, a, a LA two A uh, compressor. Uh, it's a six AQ five power pen to it. It was used to drive the gain reduction side of that compressor. Um, and it was a power pentode equivalent to a 6v6. I used a pair of them in this amplifier. I actually started this, uh, this, this tube uh, thing in, a, in another amp called a Bambino, made by Reason Amplifier Company. I used to be partner in that uh, thing. And so we made a Bambino that was like a little 8-watt head. It was in a head box and everything. So um, I got to thinking about products like the Power Block. A friend of mine said, Oh, it'd be cool if you could build that Bambino into a DI box, one of my DI boxes. And so I did, and I put it in there, and I fit it all in, and then I thought, oh, well, then maybe there's a product here, you know. And I uh, drew some cosmetic inspiration from uh, my car, GTO, and, and sort of that thin look, um, and made sort of a compact product really compact it's an order of magnitude smaller than the lunchbox head it can really go in your uh, gig bag pocket if you had to um, travel with it on an airplane is like nothing just put it in your bag and it sounds like a, a real marshally type of the tube amplifier crunchy warm you know um, it likes to be driven. It likes to break up. You know, enough power to drive a 112 or 212, 18 watts. Um, it'll hang with a little bit of a drummer, you know. Uh, it comes in a single channel version or a dual channel version. This is the dual. It's got the two channels on concentric knobs. Uh, so you have your gain up here and you have your master over here. And a lot of times I just run the master on 10. You know, because the amp with 18 watts, if you're going to use it, you probably use all 18 watts. So I just run the masters up, and I use the gains as, like, gains. So, so it's also got a, a three-band EQ, uh, treble, middle, and bass, and a couple of tone modifiers. There's a bright switch that affects the front-end sharpness. So if you have, like, a humbucker or a dark pickup, you can turn the bright on. If you have a bright pickup, you can turn it off. Uh, then this is the channel select on the two-channel version. Single channel has that bright switch there. Um, this is a presence switch that's in the power amp, so it'll give you a little bit more of this hard push. And then the mid boost, which is uh, fattening this tone stack a little bit. And that's also on the single channel. So the single channel will have a bright switch and a mid boost. And the dual has the channel select and the presence added. Uh, effects loop, send and return. Uh, it's got an impedance selector switch for 8 ohms and 16 ohms. And uh, the speaker output. Oh, it's got a power selector too. Uh, 18 watts and 10 watts. And a compensated line out. So it's got filtering to simulate the speaker response. So you can go direct to a board or your recording software. But between all of this... Really, all you're trying to do is get it set up where it's just that guitar sound and it's pretty close and you roll it up and down and boost it up and down with game pedals. It doesn't have to be all gained out like crazy. I like to find a good balance starting spot, just like Rich said, you know, oh, that's perfect with a humbucker on the clean side. You know, single single coil, you need to go to the other uh, side and and uh, put a little bit more hit on it. But then it's one sound, and you.
circuit from, from your volume knob. 